What's up, fancy beauties and bows? So, this video is going to be... I want to say the last video for 2019 because I still got to get those ones, you know, the day after Christmas fun and all that stuff. So, but I wanted to make sure that I got this video up before this year ended. And it is probably the last piece of information um, that I feel I want to share with you all. Not so much need to. There's a little bit of need in there as well. But there's more of a want because some of you guys been with me for all the years that I've been here on YouTube. And I feel like you pretty much know <laughs> everything um, that I've been through. Uh, so I feel like, you know, this is no different. And before we go any further, I don't know how these lights are going to come out. Hopefully it's not too bright because I can't get it connected to my, my laptop. But anyway, I think the most important thing is not lights. It is um, the information that I'm getting ready to share with, share with you guys. Um, so first let me say... We've all been through things. We've all been young. Most of us have had children. Um, you guys know that parenting is not easy. Right? You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make bad choices. You're going to make bad decisions. Uh, some of them you don't have to worry about them being too drastic and um, causing too much damage uh, to the kids or to yourself or to your family or what have you, right? But there are those instances where our mistakes, our decisions, our choices end up impacting not only you, but your family members, and most important, the kids. And I'm trying to find my favorite um, brow brush, and I can't find her. Um, so my daughter is no different than you, than I. Uh, because I too have made mistakes in my parenting. <laughs> um, and we have to understand that the choices that we make, it doesn't stop with just in that moment or in that child's life or in your life. Um... It, it can carry on negative repercussions, negative um, things. So I'm saying all this to say, because I don't want this video to be super duper long. I just want to say what I need to say and uh, move on. Because I feel like when you're out here on the internet, on this platform whatever social media that you are putting yourself out on, I feel like you should be as open as possible. Am I saying that you should tell all your freaking business? No, I'm not saying that. This is a choice that I am making. This is something that I feel is going to be good for my soul. 
for my peace of mind. Not anyone else's. Um, you know, I even had to decide, you know, am I going to do this? Am I going to ask my daughter's permission to do it? Um, and God worked all that out. And you guys will find out what I'm talking about um, if you keep on watching. <laughs> because we did uh, a mother-daughter tag, um, both my girls and myself. We did a mother-daughter tag. And she pretty much touched on what I'm going to touch on right now. What I'm going to expound on in this video. Um, so God worked it out because he knew that it was something that I really wanted to do. Something in my heart that I really wanted to do. And so that's why we're here. And he worked it out. And so now I know... I have confirmation from him. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Is what he sees best. And so, he's given me permission to do this video. Um, so, said all that to say this. I know many people wonder, you know, why... Uh, grandparents end up having to uh, raise their grandkids like why can't the mother raise the grandkids why can't the dad of the child raise raise the kid like it's supposed to be right well this has been going on for years where uh, the grandparents, uh, in some form or fashion, have had to step in and help out. I mean, that's the reason why they say it takes a village to raise a ch to raise your kids, and it literally it does. It takes a village to raise these children. So, you know, there's various reasons why it happens. Um, drugs are um, the first and probably the highest reason why it end up ends up happening to where the child has to be taken from um, the parent or parents. Right? We all know that. That is not the case. For me or for my daughter or for her boys. That is not the case. My daughter, thank you Jesus, is not addicted to any harsh drugs. No, um, no uh, heroin, not a meth um, user, addict, whatever you want to call it. Um, cocaine, uh, crack. None of that. So you say, well, Gina, why the heck she ain't got a cast then? Okay. So this is what happened. And I'm going to tell you everything because that's, that's just the type of person I am. Okay. So AJ, the first baby, and we've talked to him about this. So, you know, it's not anything... Um, to where you know you shouldn't be talking about this because you got to protect him and blah 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 we don't have stuff uh, our generation we don't have things from the children some things and it's not hiding it's protecting or whatever you want to put on it but um he knows what happened to him. Okay. So he knows that he was um, taken from his mom. And um, she's talked to him about it. Because she said that she wanted to be the one to talk to him about that. So that's, that's the route that we took. And I feel like it should have come from her. Um, and that's the adult thing to do 
is you that's your son so you have at it you tell him you know exactly what happened so um I got to start from the beginning in order for you guys to understand this. Um, AJ was removed twice um, from the care of his mother. All right. So the first time he was born in Georgia. So the first time he was removed was when she lived in Georgia. Um, she was in a relationship with someone. Um, of the same sex. I don't know if that even matters. Like why does that matter? But some some people like everything. They want all the details. So give you all the details. As much as I feel you need to have. So they were in a relationship. And... Um, it wasn't the healthiest relationship um, that either of them should have been in. Um, so, you know, when it gets to that point, you know, folk want to say, well, you know, you can get out and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that will happen. Uh, her partner said, you know, well, you can get out and blah, blah, blah. And so, um, my daughter is the type. She's a very strong young lady. And um, she's, you know, looking out for her kid. I don't know why she didn't think to um, call me. Uh, but whatever, whatever. She didn't, okay? Uh, and just to let y'all know, my daughter and I, uh, we had a volatile relationship. So we have not always been that loving um, mother-daughter, like you will see in the videos. So, um, that it could have been a time where, you know, she was mad at me because she would do things and to try to, you know, hurt me or get to me or whatever. And so she would do it through, um, my grandson. All right. So, um, she ended up calling the police, telling the police that, um, she couldn't take care of her son and she needed help so you think okay well she doing the responsible thing she all in asking for help okay so the police come they come out there and um talk to her and um she like i'm not saying that i don't want my son i'm asking for help because she She's trying to put put us out. And I don't want my son um homeless. She like I could be homeless, but I don't want my I don't want my kid homeless. Sounds like a pretty good mother to me. Anyway, um trying to find something to balance this mirror on. Cause I can't see good. And not in that light. Okay. There we go. So, um, they get there, they're talking to her, and, um, I'm not putting no lashes on today, child. Um, so, I'm doing my makeup because I'm getting ready to go to a New Year's Eve uh, party at uh, one of the young ladies. My friend. I'm saying my friend because they're my friends. Um, but I'm going to Amber's and Sammy's uh, for New Year's Eve party. Um, but anyway, they come out. They talk to her. Um, my daughter 
partakes in marijuana. She smokes marijuana. Who don't nowadays, okay? Um, so they the one of the officers said he didn't smell anything. The other officer said he um smelled a mild scent. Alright, so anyway, they end up taking my grandson. I was living in Georgia at the time. My oldest girl, the police had called my oldest girl and um, told them what was going on. And so my daughter told them, okay, well, my mom lives in Georgia. Um, just call her and she can come and get the baby. Right? Um, so they told her, they said, well, no, we... We um we we not gonna take the baby, you know. We just we just out here trying to figure out what's going on. So okay, right? So my my daughter not worried about it, and my service uh my phone serve. I was I at work? I can't remember what I was doing. I think I might have been at the casino, and my phone service didn't work at the casino. Um out here in uh, North Carolina in the mountains. So, um, I think I'm going to put that up there too. So, um, my daughter got off the phone with them, so she didn't think nothing else of it because she like, okay, well, they're not going to take the baby, so no big deal. Um, lies. They end up taking the baby. Um, on the on the simple fact that the one officer said he smelled um, the marijuana, right? I don't want to use that. Um, so, take my grandson. So, the next day, I found all this stuff out. And immediately, I get on the phone. Um... To call um, Georgia um, the, for the defects, right? So I called them and uh, I said, Well, I can come get my grandson. So they said, Well, no, ma'am, um, you can't come and get him because he's already in the system. And I'm like, It ain't even been 24 hours. Because I literally called as soon as that office opened. Because all this happened at um, like the wee hours of the morning. So it, the baby went into custody about midnight. Right? So how was he already in foster care? Anyway, that's what happened. Okay, so that what happened on the first rip. So we worked and worked and worked and we got him back out the system. Okay? She doing good. She doing what she's supposed to do. She taking care of him. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me. So, um, she ended up moving to uh, Las Vegas. I mean, because she was doing really well. So she moved to Vegas. And she was working, she was bartending, she was, you know, doing all whatever she needed to do, um, taking care of her son, and living, living her life, living her best life. So I'm not worried about anything, right? So I say it had to be months down the, down the road. Um, she calls me and she says, Ma... Um, they took AJ. AJ is back in custody. And I was livid. And I was like, what do you mean? What happened? So, she said that, um, the guy she was dating, um, uh, was watching, um, AJ. Okay, 
she said this clown I'm not going to call him that but this man um, didn't want uh, my daughter to um, leave him as in in the relationship so he watching um watching AJ while she's at work at night he calls the police and tells them that my daughter left the baby AJ in the house by himself while she was going to work and no it wasn't true so um they come to a house and sure enough he then left my grandchild in the house just just so he could set her up um, cuz he knew what had happened you know before so just so he could set her up he did that he he told them that story and so um That's how he ended up in custody twice. So I know you like, okay, well, why she didn't get him back? Like she got him back the first time, okay? Well, she had me living in the same state. Um, to help her uh, get him back. All right? Well, she did not have that luxury of having me there with her. So... Um, without support, you all already know what that means. It's not going to turn out good. And so, um, unfortunately, that's what happened. That's why my grandson is being raised by me. That's why I adopted him. Uh, Cause she couldn't, you know, she didn't have what help she needed to work that case plan, and you already know the max. Well, for us, the max is a year to work the plan, um, so you can get your your child back. Okay, so um, I don't know how I'm trying to work this out, y'all, but. We're going to see how it turned out. Um, so, that's why she didn't get her baby back. Because she didn't have the support she needed. I couldn't move to Vegas. My, my, my stuff was right here. You know, my, my life was right here. Um... So, in be so she left Vegas. Um, she left Vegas after I got AJ, and then she moved to uh, Minnesota uh, with my son and his family, um, so she can, you know, get things together and have a better life and. And this, that, and the other. Since since I had AJ, so um, she already knew he was gonna be taken care of, and all of that. So she ended up getting pregnant, and um, when she got pregnant, uh, or when she gave birth to the baby. Um, He tested for marijuana. Yes, she smoked marijuana while she was pregnant with my grandson. And again, I was livid because why would you do that? Young, kids, young, you know. Let's see. 
So, um, yeah. So my my son and his family. Uh, long story short, my son and his family end up moving from Minnesota and moved back to my hometown, and that left her in Minnesota by herself, no family, no anything. It probably sounds like I'm making excuses for her, right? I'm not making excuses. I'm just telling you what happened. It, you know, it is what it is. That will happen. So, um, again, because she didn't have any um, support, she couldn't work a case plan. So she was unsuccessful in working the case plan. So Jamari ended up coming with me. And uh, I will be adopting him as well. She is a good mother. That's why I'm asking you guys. And I know it's not my fancy beauties and bows that's going to um, say anything off the wall or, you know, be mean or anything like that. Um, it's just going to be those passerbys that's going to be in here trying to um, start stuff. I'm trying this little trick. Let's see if it's going to work. Alright y'all, so let me um let me focus on the rest of this. Uh, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, let me get this together and I'll see y'all on the other side of this video. Thank you. All right, y'all, I am dressed. That's what I'm wearing. Look at my My shoes. And my boys. If they can't go, I can't go. <laughs> That's how we roll over here. Yeah. All right, and we'll see y'all at the house.